Hey everyone, it's Alan here again from the Smart Video Tactics channel and today I'm going to be reviewing someone's YouTube channel. As promised, I filtered through some comments and I found someone that I feel I can add some value to help them grow your YouTube channel. Now if your channel didn't get chosen guys, make sure that you watch this entire video because a lot of the stuff I'm finding on these channels, a lot of people can do exactly the same thing to help them get more subscribers and help them grow their YouTube channel. So make sure you watch this entire video till the end and go down the bottom and comment, please review my YouTube channel. Channel and you could be next. I'm going to be going from once a month to once a week, guys. So I'll be continuing to do this and reviewing some on YouTube channel because I want to help you guys grow. With that being said, let's get into this. If this is the first time you've come to my channel, Smart Video Tactics, I post videos three times a week to help you grow your YouTube channel, have the best impact and make some money along the way. So make sure you go down the bottom, hit the subscribe button and let's grow together. And that way you won't miss out on any of the good stuff. With that being said, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a few channels that were in the running to be reviewed and most likely will get reviewed at some point. So the first channel that I had a look at is this one over here. It's called Superstar Pig. It's a gaming channel. Seems like a very good channel. If I could give you any advice, my man, is to stay consistent with your uploads. As I can see, you're uploading. Your last upload was five days ago and before that was a month ago, then two months ago. So you just got to stay consistent with your uploads and you seem like you've got a very good channel and you will definitely grow. The next channel that I had a very quick look at is this one over here. It's called Muradain TV. Awesome channel, guys. Check it out there. It's all about self-improvement, inspiration, and motivation, and probably a channel that I'll look to review at some point. Really good channel, guys, and one that's already getting some traction with 342 subscribers. Another one that I looked at over here was this guy here. It's called Karthik Gilly. Good channel, guys. I love my cars, and obviously this guy is sitting there, and he's making good videos about different cars. One tip if I can give you, my man, is to create a playlist. Like, you don't have any playlists. You can have a playlist on Lamborghinis. You can have a playlist on Ferraris, Maseratis, whatever, man, and get them into your channels. Get them onto your videos so that people can click on and stay on your channel. The next channel that I had a quick look at, guys, is this one over here, Achillea Freeman. She's doing really, really well. She's got 26 subscribers. I don't think she started that long ago, only 20, only six months ago. But again, need to stay consistent. I can see you've started posting a lot more regularly, and I can see your channel doing really, really well. Love your enthusiasm when you're on camera, and I think if you stay consistent, you'll do really, really well. And again, I see a lot of people not putting tags on their videos. It's, it's a massive mistake that a lot of people are making, and I really think that you should really consider adding tags onto your videos. Another channel that I had a quick look at over here was Kirby Enthusiast. Awesome channel, guys. Review channel. Looks at different things. Really like the channel. I think you're going to grow really, really quickly, my man. As long as you stay consistent as you are, keep putting out the content that you're putting out there. And I'll look to review some of these other review channels down the track. Another channel that I had a quick look at was this one over here called Media Life. This is a new channel. She's already got 36 subscribers. Doing really, really well. Um, like the channel. Like the video. Get some playlists going. Now, make sure you watch this entire video if if you're watching here Media Life because a lot of the stuff that I found on the next channel, you can benefit from as well, okay? So the channel that we're going to be reviewing today, guys, is called Lighthouse, okay? Now, Lighthouse, Lighthouse commented on my video asking me to review his channel. I've gone through and I had a look at all these channels and I'll show this that I don't, don't just randomly pick. I'll go through and I actually have a look at it. And I want to have a look at this to see how I can help you grow on YouTube. Now, as soon as we get onto this particular channel, if we go over to here, we can see that if you go to the home, they've got an intro video, which is good. I like when people have intro videos. Maybe consider making an intro video that tells us a little bit something about your channel. This is not only going to help you grow on YouTube, but it's going to help subscribers subscribe to your channel initially or when they come back to see what your channel is about. Now, for those of you that are watching, guys, if you see anything on this particular channel that you think that I've missed or you can help out with, just go down the bottom and comment on my video. Go down and subscribe to this channel and check it out. It's an awesome channel. And the reason I like this channel is I like general quiz channels. And I think that there is a massive place on YouTube for these types of channels. And if you go to the about page over here, it basically talks about that it's about quizzes and riddles and brain teasers. And these are huge channels. Some people have massive channels in this niche and people like this type of stuff. So let's have a deep dive into this channel and see how we can help Lighthouse grow on YouTube. Now, I like the banner up here with the channel light says grow your knowledge quiz. 
But one thing that you're missing over here is the subscribe button, okay? So you really want to have your subscribe button there and you really want people to see that, click on it and subscribe. When you're growing a YouTube channel, you need to have as many opportunities for people to subscribe to your channel as you possibly can. So to do that, all you need to do when you're on your home page of your YouTube channel, if you go over here and click on to customize channel, so once you click onto that, I'll show you very, very quickly how you can do this. You just come up to here where you've got your channel art. You click on this pen icon over here, which is your edit button. You go to edit links, click on to edit links. Okay, once you click onto your edit links, you go over to here and this is where you would add your subscribe button. Okay, so just add your subscribe button URL. And to do that, you just need to click onto your channel, your main channel URL, and then just add this end bit, which is your question mark, underscore, confirmation. I'll just show you this over here. Let me just go question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one okay add that to the end and that'll add the subscribe button onto your channel art it's very 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 simple guys and i highly recommend that you get that done as soon as possible because as soon as people get on here, if they see it they can click onto it if you have instagram or any other social media so that's the first thing that i found the second thing that i found if we just stay onto this page over here if we go into playlists over here you don't have any playlists and what this tells me is if you don't have any playlists there's a good chance that you're not putting these into your cards into your videos and you also don't have any end screens as well which we're going to have a look at very quickly so really important that you get some playlists going of different types of riddles different types of quizzes and stuff like that and have them because what you're looking to do is you're looking to keep people on your platform so that youtube pushes your content it's all about getting new subscribers and feeding them that content and the longer you keep people on your platform the more you will grow on youtube and the more subscribers you're going to get so really important get some playlists going over here so like i said over here i like the intro maybe get the intro updated a little bit maybe get yourself on there or maybe make one of these um type of graphic videos where you talk about what your channel is about so now if we get into the video itself so if we come over to the videos and let's have a look at these thumbnails over here so the thumbnails, I don't mind. I know you, I can see that you're using Photoshop to get the background of these videos and that's fine. What I would suggest that you do is maybe make the thumbnail so that you can see them a little bit more. For example, when I have a look at this thumbnail over here, I like the titles, but when I have a look at the thumbnails, I can't read this. And if you can't read this and you can't read that, people are just going to scroll over it, okay? So you need to make sure that people can read what you have on there, okay? So... And you want to keep it as enticing as possible so that people will click onto your videos. Now, some of these are really good. Some of these I can see. They're not bad. I like this one over here because it stands out a little bit more. I like this one This one over here as well. It stands out. These ones over here just need a little bit more work. Maybe change that color to black so it stands out and you can see them. So thumbnails aren't too bad. The titles aren't bad either as well. So which tire does not, does not move when a car is turning right? So, okay, this is not bad. So now we're going to have a look at the videos itself and see how you're trying to tag and get more views when you're on these videos. So if we click onto this particular video over here, it's your latest video. It's 13 hours ago. It's got 10 views. Let's check it out. So once we click onto it, I can see here we're getting straight into Let me just mute this. I can see we're getting straight into the riddles, which is okay. I can see here that you don't have your art for your subscribe button which is another opportunity for people to subscribe i would highly 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 recommend that you get that subscribe button put on there as soon as possible okay see there's a lot of tutorials on youtube that you can have a look at but i would get them on there as well okay so you've got music playing i can see there's no voiceover which is okay that's fine um and i can also see here at the start of the video now guys i want you to remember at the start of the video majority of your viewers will watch you know, anything from your from the start of the video till about the first 30 seconds, you're going to have a massive drop off. Okay, if you have a look at your analytics, you're going to see that a lot of people are going to drop off. So that, that 30 seconds is your call to action to tell people what the video is about, number one. And number two, to tell them what you'd like to do if, they, if you want them to comment on your videos, if you want them to subscribe, if you want them to smash that like button. Okay, so that should be done probably within the first one and a half minutes. Now, I can see on this video here that there's no call to action. And that's okay when you've got a massive channel and people love you and your content's being pushed out by YouTube. But if it's not, then you need to get as many people that are watching this video. This video has had 28 views. If only eight of those are subscribers and the 20 of those aren't subscribers and only one or two have subscribed, you want the rest of them to have a call to action, something at the start of the video to say, if, this, if you like riddles, if you like quizzes, subscribe to my channel because I've got one coming 
every single two days, three days, four days, whatever it might be. And that's something that you can have on your channel art as well. Tell people what the video, what the channel is about and how often you post videos and when to expect your next video. So as you can see here, they do have at the end of the video, I know because I watched it, if we get to the end of the video here, you can see here that they've got like, subscribe, comment and share. And that's fine. That's perfect. But the problem with this is you've only got 10% of your audience from the beginning watching. So if you've got 10% of 28 people, you've only got two to three people that have gotten this far. And if they're all subscribers, you're not going to get any more subscribers. So you need to make sure that you've got something like this, a call to action at the start of the video to get people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. And I can see here you don't have an end screen. You've got this has popped up, like, subscribe and share. YouTube gives you the option to add end screens and to end and to add cards. And I can see there's no end, there's no cards in this video either. You could have a poll asking people to subscribe to your channel. And what I mean by that is let me show you, let me go on to one of my videos. If we go on to this video over here, I may have one on this one, I may not, but I'll have a quick look. Okay, so if we come up here, see this up here, if I click onto that, you're going to see that I've got a poll here. So it basically says subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And you can click over to here and already done. So 100% of the people that have seen this and clicked onto it, they've selected already done. Then I've got my two playlists over here that people can click onto. And once they click onto these playlists, it keeps them on my channel a lot longer. Okay. And then at the end of the video, so if we close this over here, if we get to the end of the video, you can see that I've got two end screens over here and my subscribe button. And this, once people get to the end, they might look at this and go, oh, what's this? What's this? Now I select best for viewer and I put up one of my playlists. And if people want to binge watch and I want to know how to make X amount of dollars on YouTube, they're going to click onto this. They may watch two or three videos. It's going to keep them on my channel a lot longer. So I highly recommend that you get these end screens going, you get the subscribe button there, and you also get the subscribe button that's over here. This is what I'm talking about over here when I say you don't have your subscribe button here. It just gives people an opportunity to subscribe to your YouTube channel. I highly recommend that you get this done as soon as possible. Get that on there so that you can get more people subscribing to your channel when you're looking to grow. Okay, so if we come down here and we have a look at this. So let's have a look at what you've got over here in your description. And I can see here you've got in this video, we have 10 riddles enjoy. And that's fantastic. But you don't have any call to action here either. You don't have a subscribe button here either to tell people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. And I would highly recommend that you get that in there straight away. Here the title says, which tire does not move when a car is turning right? So I'm not sure what you're trying to rank for there, but what I would be doing in brackets is I would be putting something along the line of quizzes or riddles, something to tell YouTube what this video is about. And you can have that on every single video if you want. Then in your tag here, I can see you've got quizzes, general knowledge, history, um, geographic or something. And then what you can do is if you've got quiz there, you can have it here as well. Okay, so just have it in brackets, five quizzes, six quizzes, whatever it might be. Have it in there to give YouTube so YouTube understands where they need to be pushing your content. Because if people have been watching quizzes, they need to be watching your video. And the only way YouTube is going to get it to them is if you tell them what the content is about. Just remember, YouTube is a machine that works off algorithms and you need to tell it what you want it to do. Okay. So they'll push your channel and your video to people that have watched this type of content before. And the more you grow, that's where you want to head towards. Okay. So very important that you also have that in your description over here. Okay. So you need to have as much as you, as much as you can in the description here, you need to have your subscribe button in here and you need to write a little bit more and use the tags that you've got over here. Use them in your description over here. Okay, so extremely, extremely important that you do that as well. So get your tags going, get your end screens going, get your description right. Make sure you've got the right tags and you'll be well on your way. I can also see here, I'm not sure, sometimes this isn't accurate, but if you haven't shared this on Facebook, highly recommend that you start sharing it to friends, um, sharing it to other Facebook groups, Twitter as well. Um, it's an awesome way to obviously get your channel out there. And I can see obviously no cards, no end screens as well. So if we come back to your channel, I just want to have a look at something else and just something that I noticed as well. I think you don't show, let me just go to videos over here. I can see here that you don't show how many subscribers you have. And I would suggest that you change that so that people can see how many subscribers that you have. It doesn't matter if you only have five or six or 10 Everybody starts with zero and we all grow to an X amount of subscribers eventually. So I would highly recommend that you show it because if you're about to hit a milestone, if you're a 99, 
if you're on 199, if you're on 49, people will subscribe to be number 50 or whatever. And that's how you're going to grow your YouTube channel. I learned this the hard way. I did something very, very similar on my first channel. And then I changed that and I noticed that I started to get a lot more subscribers. So I will definitely, definitely do that. And again, with the channel art over here, I will change this, maybe put your name on there somewhere. And also let people know when you're going to be publishing your next video, maybe a little bit about the channel as well. Okay, so there are a few things that I can see, obviously fix up some of these thumbnails as well and you'll be well on your way but most importantly get those playlists out there start utilizing all the tools that youtube gives you they're there for a reason when you're uploading your video make sure you go through the sequence get your tags in there get your end screen in there get your cards in there and give viewers the opportunity to stay on your channel and youtube to push your content so just one more thing that i wanted to show you as well is you can go to a couple of other channels that you can have a look at to see that what i'm talking about you've got these other big channels that are doing this so if you have a look at this channel over here it's called seven second riddles okay so if we go into this it's a massive channel okay so this is something that's very similar into the niche that you're in and you can see straight away their thumbnails stand out if you scroll down here you can see they've got playlists automatically if you click onto their channel and go into their video so if we click onto this video over here so if we come over to you guys and you have a look at this you're going to see straight away that they've got that call to action over here straight away which asks you to subscribe if you come over to here they've got playlists automatically on here straight away guys and they've got four or five playlists so everything that i'm talking about they're doing on their channel and this is something that you want to make sure that you do so go out and have a look at other channels and see what they're doing the other thing that you want to see over here as well is in their title detective riddles to help you become smarter okay if you come down here and look at their tags you're going to see detective riddles so they're trying to rank for this okay so this is something that you want to keep in mind and that you want to do this as well another thing that you want to do when you come over here when you click on to show more you can have a look at their description their description is massive okay and there's reason why they do this and this person has 3.89 million subscribers yeah 3.89 million subscribers and when you scroll down here you can also have a look at and see what other ways they're potentially looking to monetize their channel so it seems like they got stock material footage, photos footage and other if you click onto this and you purchase this or you subscribe or you sign up to these and you purchase any of these photos they'll make a commission so you can also have a look to see how they're monetizing their channel as well okay so really really important that you find this out as well because they're potentially not just monetizing their channel through adsense as well there's other ways to monetize their channel as well so just wanted to show you this and um, show you that there's other channels out there as well that are doing this so that you can get inspiration from them as well I also want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to review your youtube channel i know it's not easy to get somebody to go there and tell you exactly what you're doing what you're not doing so it's an awesome way to get advice from someone to help you grow your youtube channel i'd like everyone to go down and subscribe to lighthouse let them know obviously what you think of their content and if you enjoyed this video guys make sure that you smash that like button and go down and comment please review my youtube channel if you want me to review your youtube channel next guys thank you so much for watching another one of my videos until next time you guys take care and goodbye